Hey guys, my name is Tez, and today I'll be showing you guys a trick to diagnose an airbag light or a BS light or check engine light on Honda or Acura. And I'll be showing you guys on a 2003 Acura RL. And I do have a personal assistant to help me today. Here he is. So on top of the fuel gauge on the right side, you can see the orange light, the SRS or supplemental restraint system light is on, aka airbag light. And this trick will be able to find out why that light is illuminated, what system is wrong, without using any kind of scanner. So now on the passenger side, there's actually a clip that are connected that we have to unclip and short. You don't have to take the glove box off, but I did it anyways, uh, just for my own sake. Make some room. So underneath, in the back of the AC motor itself, that's one wire should be pretty easy to find. And what we need to do is actually unclip it from the back of the motor. So go ahead and push upwards on the clip, pull back, should be able to undo it fairly easily. Just my fat fingers are kind of hard to reach back there. All right, so there's the connector. Now I have a piece of conductor and just short the two pins. So you can use either a paper clip or a piece of wire. Conductor made. Now with the engine off, car shut off. Short the two pins. So now go ahead and turn the key to the on position. The engine does not need to be on. And the trouble code itself is two digits. The number of slow flashes will be the first code or first digit. And the number of flash, uh, fast flashes will be the second code or second digit, I mean. So one slow, one, two. So one dash two, that's a first code. One slow one fast flash. So 1-1, one 1-2, dash one, one dash those are two codes. Once you got the code itself, uh, there should be plenty of resources online to find out what the code means and if uh, you're unable to find what it means, let me know. Now clearing the code to see if it's a permanent or a temporary code. Underneath the steering wheel column, just go ahead and pop that cover off. It's just held down by a couple clips all around, so just use a little bit of force, pull it off, and you'll find a yellow connector connected to it. So same thing, with the engine off, what we need to do is actually short those two pins. Using the same connector, put them in, and do the same thing again, turn the car on. Engine does not need to be on again. And just wait for the SRS light to go out. And that's it, that's how you reset the light. Any questions, comments, please leave it below and I'll get to them. Thanks guys, I'll see you guys next time.